Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. This video is going to be a little bit unusual for my channel because I am going to try to run DeepSeek AI model on budget-friendly entry-level graphics cards. Originally, I also planned to include the NVIDIA RTX 4060 in this comparison, but unfortunately, it never arrived and I had to go through reclamations to figure out what's going on. So the video is delayed by about two weeks and I have to go without 4060. But if the video will be popular and there will be enough views and enough likes, then I will buy an RTX 4060 from another store and continue this series. And for this test, I have got a few different options, starting with AMD RX 7600 XT that has 16GB of video memory, which I thought would be very beneficial to run larger models. Then I made myself buy Intel Arc B580 because this seems to be a pretty popular budget graphics card with the 12 gigabytes of video memory and according to online documentation it shall be capable uh, at running deep seek another subject which is interesting to explore with the b580 is how this graphics card behaves with the xeon cpus compared to rx 7600 and rdx 4060 then I also dug out my good old Titan V. It has 12 gigabytes of video memory as well, but this video memory is actually HBM, so that should help this Titan V to pull ahead of its competition. Of course, if the uh, model does not overflow from the video memory. Then, in addition to these graphics cards that I have at hand, I'm going to add two extra results. One is NVIDIA RDX 3060 12GB that I have in my workstation, and another one is AMD RX 7900XTX that I have in my personal gaming computer. So the comparison is technically not fair because three graphics cards will be tested on my test bench with an X99 motherboard and Xeon E5 2697V3, while RDX 3060 and RX 7900 XTX will be tested in their own computers. Nevertheless, the numbers are pretty much comparable because when you run an AI model, most of the work is done by the graphics card, of course, given that your entire model fits into the GPU memory. And that's exactly what I'm going to test, so the performance of the memory and performance of the CPU will not, or at least in theory, shall not impact the results. Before I go into the test results, let's quickly take a look at what I have actually tested. My main test bench is Chiida X99H9S with the E52697V3 Turbo Boost unlocked, 32GB of memory and Windows 11 Pro. Then the 3060 is installed in my workstation that has MSI X570 motherboard, Ryzen 9 5900X, 64GB DDR4 memory. And the RX 7900 XTX in my gaming computer has Adrock Z890 with Core Ultra 265K and 64GB of DDR5 memory. The DeepSeek model I have tested is DeepSeek R114B. It requires at least 6.5GB of video memory. I have also tried to test DeepSeek R132B that requires at least 14.9GB of video memory, but a bit more on that later. Regarding the software, I chose the easiest or the simplest path and I used Olama 0511. Intel Arc B580 does not work with Olama out of the box and here we need to follow a few extra steps and use a special version of Olama. So B580 was tested with Olama 054 IPEX LLM. To test the DeepSeek AI model, I have prepared five questions. The first one is the most difficult one. AI is supposed to solve a chess puzzle made in five. This is a rather complicated question and unsurprisingly 14B and 32B models failed miserably. Then the second question is kind of a logical question. You have a river crossing, you have a man with a boat, the boat has only two places and the man must cross the river with a goat, a wolf and a cabbage. And of course you cannot leave a wolf and a goat unattended and goat and a cabbage unattended because a disaster will happen. This is a much easier task, but it is still pretty complicated for the AI models. Sadly, 14B still fails, while 32B is able to figure out the correct answer. The third task is even easier for AI. It has to analyze a piece of .NET c -sharp code with a possible hidden infinite loop through recursion. 32B detects the possible infinite loop correctly, 
While 14b doesn't always detect it, still it provides a properly fine and relevant answer. The fourth task is pretty easy for the AI. It has to simply specify why communism is bad in five simple sentences. 14b and 32b respond pretty fast, and the answer is correct in both cases. The last task is pretty simple, but it really depends on the knowledge given to the AI models. Here I have a tricky question asking if Xeon EFI 2680 V4 can be used with a Huanan G X99 T8 motherboard. The catch here is that X99 T8 uses only DDR3 memory, while EFI 2680 V4 does not support a DDR3 memory. Both of the models do not know these details, and 14B assumes that it will work because of the socket and chipset compatibility, while 32B suggests to check the manual and ensure compatibility in the BIOS and in the documentation. So I would say it is a failure for 14B and a pass for 32B. Thus, according to my personal judgment, to fulfill my requirements, I need to use DeepSeq R132B, which unfortunately does not fit in most of the budget graphics cards video memory buffers. Thus, I am going to test 14B model, which is too stupid to my liking, but it fits into most of the budget graphics cards video memory, and it is still capable of doing some specific tasks, if you have a use case for it. A few words about AMD RX 7600 XT. Even though the graphics card has 16GB of GDDR6, which is pretty nice, it is limited to 128-bit bus, uh, which hurts the performance, and in DeepSeq 14B it is about 30% slower than RTX 3060 12GB. Testing with the DeepSeq 32B, I was not able to make it run on the graphics card only. For whatever reason, Olama would always overflow to the CPU and the entire 16GB buffer of RX 7600 XT would not be utilized. I have tried multiple different configurations, I have tried to reinstall drivers, reinstall software, play with environment variables, it just doesn't work. Whenever I run 32B, it overflows to the CPU and uses CPU for a few layers of the model. It's a real disappointment, because according to the requirements, RX 7600 XT shall be able to host DeepSeq 32B. So if you have any idea what I have to do to actually run it on GPU only, please leave me a comment, otherwise I will dig myself. Now let's talk about Intel Arc B580. As I have already said, the graphics card is not natively supported by Olama, and that's a problem. To use it with the DeepSeq R1, you need to follow Intel guide to do some special steps and special installations to install a special version of Olama, and that means you're not getting the latest version of Olama and you're not getting all the latest fixes immediately. Also, for Arc B580, you must have a resizable bar enabled and a CSM must be disabled. Plus, there might be some other BIOS settings involved, or Intel Arc B580 simply does not like the older platforms. Because in my testing with the X99H9S, the performance is atrocious. I have found a video online where the performance of Arc B580 on LJ1700 platform is uh, close by or roughly the same to RDX 3060 12GB. Still, in my case, no matter how I try, no matter what I do, B580 on X99H9S is able to deliver maximum 50% of the theoretical performance that I have seen in the video. This could be a problem of my setup, this could be a problem of some BIOS settings, or it could be that B580 simply doesn't work properly on the old X99 platform. At this point, I'm out of ideas and I have to test it with another modern platform to see if it's a problem with my software or it's a problem with the hardware. Now let's finally take a look at the benchmark numbers and compare these graphics cards running DeepSeq 14B. Intel Arc B580 takes the last spot, and with the CSM enabled, it is only able to score about 10 tokens per second in all five tested questions. When I disable CSM in the BIOS, the performance goes up to about 15 tokens per second, but it is still far behind RTX and RX competition. 
RX 7600 XT is significantly faster than uh, B580 in this configuration. It is able to deliver about 2021 20, tokens per second across all five tested questions. RTX 3060 12 gigabyte is even faster. It is able to deliver about 30 tokens per second in all tested questions. And I would say that 30 tokens per second is the absolute minimum for comfortable usage of your locally hosted AI. Titan V is slightly faster, but not that much faster, which is kind of surprising. I expected that Titan V would be significantly faster than 3060. All in all, it is able to deliver about 35 tokens per second in all five tested questions. AMD RX 7900 XT, which is not a budget graphics card, and it is supposed to be way much faster than RTX 3060, is actually not that much faster in AI workloads. Here we get somewhere about 50-51 tokens per second. In the coding task we go all the way up to 55 tokens per second, but in the logical task we get only 46 tokens per second. A part of the test results I have also got an interesting observation. Running DeepSeq R132B that overflows from the video memory and starts to use system memory and the CPU, we have a much better performance with the Xeon E5 2697V3 compared to my Ryzen 9 5900X in my workstation. I think this happens because the Xeon has four memory channels while Ryzen has only two memory channels, but I am not sure. These two configurations are way too different and I use different graphics card in both of the cases, so it is not one-to-one -one comparison, more testing is needed, but all in all with the Xeon I have got about 4.5 tokens per second, while with Ryzen I have got only about 2.8 tokens per second. Take whatever you want from this. It's not a scientific comparison, it's not apples to apples, it's just an interesting observation that I was able to repeat time after time. I guess to conclude this video I need to say some sort of a final speech, but at this moment I have too few hardware configurations tested and too little information. So all in all we have certain results, but it is way too far from the final conclusion and from the final picture. I need to test some more graphics cards, in particular I need to test RTX 4060 and maybe 4060 Ti 16GB and I also need to test this naughty ARC B580 that performed pathetically on X99 with a modern CPU, maybe LGA 1700, maybe AMD AM4 AM5. In addition, we also have interesting eBay options in form of AMD Radeon Instinct MI50 and MI60. These are old graphics cards, but they come with HPM memory and they have 16 or 32 gigabytes of video memory. With all that being said, I'm not sure that my audience is interested in AI and in particular in DeepSeek. Still, if you have a practical use for a locally set up DeepSeek or maybe stable diffusion, then please leave me a comment and maybe like this video so I understand that these kind of explorations are worth it and then I will spend some extra time, some extra money to buy required hardware to conduct more tests. With this I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I am out to test this B580 in gaming and see how much performance degradation we get using X99 platform compared to modern AMD AM4 5 or maybe LGA 1700. Bye bye.